We have had a lot of people ask about how to clean the face of the oven. So Sara and I decided that today would be a good day to show you that. The other day we made some steak and we had some drippings here. Now, one thing is important that you do this while the oven is cold, not hot. When lighting the oven, you definitely want to make sure for the damper, instead of being in horizontal position, it will be open. That way the smoke can actually go out through the chimney. Another thing that is very important, once you have lit the fire, and of course you use hardwood, um, not pine or a softwood, that you close the door as the fire is uh, really catching on, and that will avoid the smoke from kind of lapping out here and darkening and blackening the face of the oven. This is what we love using. Now for people who have an oven close to salt water, we also have another cleaner and a protector, but this is the one we like to use. So we're gonna shake it really well. It is called the Bar Keeper's Friend. Place a little bit on a wet rag and then simply go right on top and start going into a nice circular motion. And you can already see the difference happening right here. I might put a little bit more on there. There's just something to be said about having a clean oven before you start cooking. And it takes just a few seconds to clean it up. So here we just left almost a line to show you the difference. Now, of course, we're gonna need to rinse this really well because otherwise it will leave kind of a white film on there. And we're gonna go everywhere and just make sure that it's nicely cleaned. We'll do the same thing even on top here where all these things have been burnt on that will take a little bit more of elbow work, but it will also come off. So let's try here. You see, even the stubborn stuff will come off and it just makes your oven look so, so much better. And now with a clean, wet rag, we're gonna wipe everything off. I can still see here a few little pieces that I need to go over. And even here, we're just gonna leave it so you'll be able to see the difference between what we have already cleaned. You see over here, here it's still really messy where we haven't gone over. Remember those little spots? Well, they have come off as well. Now we're gonna need to rinse our rag really, really well and rinse everything off so it will not have a white film. Go. rinsing the section off as well as right here and now with a dry cloth we're going to dry it off and our oven looks beautiful again and all it took was just a few minutes now we can do the same exact thing with the door let me see here there's some little stubborn spots, but with just a little bit of elbow grease, it will come off. And even here, we will rinse it really well. Now, of course, this gets the brunt of the heat all the time, so there are gonna be some imperfections on it, but at least you can get it nice and clean. And here we are rinsing, and as you can see, it is much easier to do the cleanup process frequently so nothing can actually cake on there and here is just a quick view as to what it looks like when you're faithful cleaning unfortunately i forgot the wood poker right on here and check and see the little marks it left right there but no worries the bar keeper's friend is gonna take it off immediately and it's gonna look just like new again and once again it takes just a few minutes to make your oven look great and almost like new we're gonna rinse it and dry it off and we're good to go all right let's go really close up and look at the difference look at this compared to this side over here absolutely amazing and all it took was just a few minutes of little loving care.